Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video will be doing answers, and uh, into this tutorial, I will show you how to assign material and answers. So need to make a part and then we are going we are going to assign the particular material can be steel or as steel stainless steel anything which you want so for that uh, as you can see i'm already in the answers workbench what you can do is you can just start with the static structure so just double click on this one You can call it anything problem to that you can go for geometry just right click here and say new geometry so it's gonna open the design modeler for you uh, let's wait for a moment as you can see it's saying uh, starting design modeler it will take few seconds to minutes yeah the first thing which you're gonna do in design modeler is going for the units and millimeter yeah. and select xy plane say look at and you can draw a sketch A sketch uh, from here is sketching go to rectangle start from here up to here and then go to dimensions okay general yeah this one and this one so then give the dimensions you can take is 60 and this one you can take 15 okay this is the sketch which I wanted to draw so after that we'll go to extrude we'll extrude it I'm gonna apply you're gonna extrude it to somewhere around 220 and say generate see our beam is ready now so once your part is ready we are going to assign the material so for the material We're going back to the answers workbench and we're going to double click on engineering data. It will open a new window. It will say outline of a schematic engineering data properties of outline. So what we can do is we can go for engineering data sources here and from here okay once you are in the engineering data sources click on general materials so it will open a new window which shows all the materials which are already added in the answers So we need to select, uh, you can select anything, aluminium or something, I'm going to select stainless steel for now. So once you select it, you're going to see the properties of a stainless steel over here. See as I change the material, the property changes. So let's select the stainless steel for now and you can see all the properties here. just need to click on the plus sign and you see a book icon is done so it means it's added you see 
when you click back on engineering data sources your new material which is stainless steel is added now so we are gonna double click on the model and the project double click on the model it will start a new window So, oh my God. so once you are in the model, what you can do is you need to select the solid so you can find it somewhere. Where is it? Inside the geometry, just select solid. and you see the details of solid over here so we're going to uh, material and you say assignment is structural steel so we are going to click here arrow and we're going to change it to stainless steel once you have done you can exit the exit the this window and go back to the and refresh so your model is set up i mean so this is uh, how you can assign material to your design or to your part in ansys it's very easy nothing complicated here if you are stuck somewhere let me know and uh, if you have any doubts or comments let me know in the, in the comment down below hope you guys like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel to follow up on further future videos and see you guys in another tutorial thank you so much and peace